All right, today on The Woodworks, we're gonna do something different. I don't eat beef or pork, but I do eat buffalo, which is bison. Um, so I'm gonna do bison stew. which you could easily just do beef stew, chicken stew, turkey stew, I mean anything with the same recipe. Um, this is my recipe though, so let me run down the list of ingredients. You're gonna need olive oil, uh, two pounds of bison cubed, uh, one onion diced, four cloves of garlic diced, two diced jalapenos, uh, three carrots diced, three stalks of celery diced, four to five cups vegetable broth, two 14 ounce cans of chopped tomatoes, two cups frozen organic corn, uh, two large Yukon Gold potatoes diced, one cup of pinto beans, one cup kidney beans, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and chopped parsley for the garnish at the end. So let's get to the stove and let's get to it. I'm excited, let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is brown the bison for like five minutes and then put it, remove it, and then start with the onion, garlic, the carrots, and the celery. So let's just get this in here. Just gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. Okay, well, everything's pretty nice and browned up. Gonna remove it all. And then start with the onions and garlic. We already got some nice juices in the pan from the bison. Let's get the onions in here. Carrots and the celery. Hit it with some pepper and salt. We'll let this go for five to 10 minutes and then add the garlic in. Okay, add in the jalapenos in and the garlic. I'm gonna let this go for another five minutes or so. Okay, now I'm gonna start to add all the other ingredients back in. The last thing I'm gonna add is the vegetable broth. Um, you could use beef broth, whatever, whatever you prefer. Um, Cause then I can see, you know, what kind of stew I have, but I wanna get the um, bison in here back in first, so I can mix it around a little bit with everything I have going on here. I mean, you can see that it already looks awesome. Already happy. All right. So let's get the potatoes in here. The corn. Let's 
get our tomatoes. extra beans so this is more than I need so I think I'm gonna use that much and see how it looks all right and now let's get a vegetable stock in here All right, you guys can see how awesome this already looks with all the colors in here. Um, I might need a little more stock as it cooks down, but I think for right now it's good and I'm gonna see how it goes. But this needs to come up to a boil and then down to a simmer. And it's gonna have to go for like 30 minutes once it's at a simmer. Got a nice little simmer going. I'm just gonna add the thyme and the oregano, some of the parsley, mix that up, and then it's gonna simmer for like 20, 25 minutes. Gotta cook those potatoes, gotta make get that buffalo all nice and tender. So just be patient and let it go for like 25 minutes. We'll be back. I think we're done. Just gonna give the broth a final taste. See if it needs any more salt and pepper. Mm. Oh man, mm. it is so good. I'm gonna put some in a bowl and taste everything and we'll be right back. Okay, so the bison stew or the buffalo stew is finished. Um, gonna give it a taste, gonna try to get a little bit of everything in here. Mmm, oh boy. First of all, that broth has so much flavor. But the combination of the buffalo, celery, Carrot, corn, the beans. I mean, just can't be beat. Mmm, so good. This would especially be great on a cold winter day. We're in Miami, so we don't have those, right? Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. So much flavor. As you can tell, when we cooked it, made it we were layering flavors that's the key especially when making a stew a soup you know anything with uh, you know a good amount of ingredients you got to layer those flavors and you know salt and pepper everything mm. Mm. the potatoes have soaked up all that broth so good try this at home 
on a cold winter day or not. If you live in Miami, try it tomorrow, whatever. It's fantastic. My bison stew, try it at home. Until next time. He wishes. <laughs> <laughs>